بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته This is an attempt to spread the knowledge from the Quran and the Sunnah and any Muslim without any doubt if you ask him about the purpose of creation he would say to worship Allah the Almighty the problem is that in the Muslim world we find that there is a certain amount of sensitivity whenever you mention the word Tawheed or you mention the word Aqeedah you get so many people defensive and whenever you speak about the topic they take it personally whether they know it or not and this is a very serious issue the reason is that you and I are not definitely better than the prophets of Allah especially the prophet of Allah Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam can anyone claim that? Can you claim that you're better than them? Definitely not. However, Allah Azza wa Jal has revealed an ayah in the Quran which is so clear that anyone on the streets would understand it. وَلَقَدْ أُوحِيَ إِلَيْكَ وَإِلَى الَّذِينَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ لَإِنْ أَشْرَكْتَ لَيَحْبَطَنَّ عَمَلُكَ and it has been revealed to you, O Muhammad, of the Prophet of Allah, and to the messengers and prophets of Allah before you, that if you were to associate others with Allah, if you were to commit shirk, then all of your deeds would be nullified and you would be among the losers. SubhanAllah, this is addressing the Prophet ﷺ. and of course it is for the Ummah as well. So when you come to such an understanding, you know that the issue of shirk is the major, the most major sin any person could do. It is so severe that Allah does not forgive those who die in such a state. It is so severe that it is greater than murder, than adultery, fornication, stealing, uh, uh, looting, uh, slandering people, you, you name it. Shirk is far greater. So, in order to avoid shirk, which is your prime duty in Islam, you have to know what is shirk and what is the opposite of shirk which leads you to worshipping Allah, the Almighty. So, this is an attempt to go through one of the great books of contemporary times, known as Kitab al-Tawheed, which was compiled by Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab. Don't be deceived by the names or by the author. Don't have any prejudgment over the topic just because you heard the word Abdul Wahhab oh so this is a Wahhabi stuff this is a Salafi stuff this is so and so stuff Akhi, no one fights Tawheed no one finds any hard feelings against Tawheed or Aqeedah except someone who's deviant because he's not following the Prophet as simple as that and we will come to discuss this from the Quran and the Sunnah who fights Tawheed? Definitely those who are committing shirk. Now one of us would say that I'm a Muslim. I pray. I fast. I do all the nine, the whole nine yards. So you cannot accuse me, accuse me of shirk. Subhanallah. Allah Azza wa Jal says in the Quran, and most of them believe not in Allah except that they are in the state of shirk. So their belief in Allah 
is tarnished by associating others with Allah. Now if someone prays and fasts and does everything that is mentioned in the Qur'an and the Sunnah, yet every Friday he goes to a temple and he prostrates to Buddha. Is he a Muslim? Definitely not. If, if someone thinks and believes that other than Allah controls the universe, if someone believes that it is permissible to call dead people, Oh Hussein, Oh Ali, Oh Fatima, Oh Tijani, Oh Badawi, Oh Baba so and so, do this for me, grant me a child, pay off my debts, do that and do this. Definitely this is shirk, you're associating others with Allah. They claim and say, no, we're just taking them as intercede, uh, uh, means of intercession. They are interceding uh, for us at the sight of Allah. This is exactly what shirk is. And you will find, inshaAllah, the answer to all these confusing problems to some w while you go through these uh, um, short episodes, inshaAllah. It will be uh, uploaded to the internet and with the grace of Allah Azza wa Jal, we will try our level best to make it as simple as possible, hoping that it does not exceed seven to eight minutes. I may uh, uh, cheat somewhere here or there, minus or plus, but hopefully it would be within the range or of seven to eight minutes. And I pray to Allah Azza wa Jal that He benefits me first of all from it and benefits you from it as well. And also benefits those who may Allah Azza wa Jal uh, reward them greatly who contributed in making these uh, short series. And with this, I conclude our first segment. So I leave you fi amanillah. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.